Difficult lesson yet. Paulus Lear, RT, Kosovo. Yemen's former president, Abdullah Saleh, has formally announced an alliance with the rebels. The Houthis have been supported by forces still loyal to Saleh, who was ousted three years ago after a popular uprising. It comes after the Saudi-led coalition bombed his home in the capital, Sana'a. The UN's top relief official has accused the Saudi-led coalition of violating international humanitarian law by indiscriminately bombing residential areas in Yemen. Also, Iyad Nasser, who's from the UN Office for the Middle East and North Africa, says those behind the airstrikes should be held responsible. Any indiscriminate attacks against areas where civilians are located, bombardments, shelling, acts of uh, hostilities, not targeting precisely military objects, they are considered in violation of IHL. When the time comes and the, the United Nations or the Security Council, they will look into the violations. Any party to the conflict that has committed violations of IHL should and has to be held responsible. Amid the destruction caused by the airstrikes, locals in Sana'a are doing their best to go about their daily lives. Yemen-based journalist Mohammed al Atab talked to some of them. Because of the fuel shortage, people here are trying to find different alternatives to continue their works. It is not as good, but it has enabled us to keep up our work amid severe shortages of diesel and other fuels. It has affected everyone. It has paralyzed public life. But we have to provide for our families and work with whatever we have as long as we are alive. We used to run our heating system on diesel, but due to the fuel shortage and the rising price of firewood, we started using discarded mortar oil as fuel for the heating system. For the moment, that is the best solution for us to keep our family going and get through this crisis. Here we are in the old city of Sana'a. This is one of the old shops for grinding oil and cereals. We would like to talk about how they are finding this as a best alternative for the people. We have brought back a traditional grinding method using a camel. It goes back a long way to Yemen's oldest civilizations. And now the skills of our ancestors have become useful again despite modern technology. In the store we also sell various oil-based products. We supply families and mosques with light and oil. We are self-sufficient and can survive any product bans. A report from Yemen-based journalist Mohammed Al-Atab, who was talking to some of the locals living in Sana'a. Oh, Edward Snowden may have plenty of enemies, but he also has...